Hello everyone, Gohan Luke's here. Uh, this is episode 3 of uh, my 7 Days to Die series. Um, I've started a new mission. It's just a simple clear the area mission. So... Cancel out of that. To clear out this area with all the zombies. Oh my god, it's a bird. Or something. Alright, let's see what's in here. Ooh, some duct tape. We'll definitely take that. Um, so there's one around here. What does this mean? This dot means that there's supposed to be a zombie around here, but I don't see one. Hmm. I think there's probably one in here, though. No? Oh, no, I guess that was it. It's a glitch or something. But, uh, let's see. Okay, that's a great book to find right there. And look at this. We have our first shotgun. It's a pipe shotgun. Um, not very good, but uh, it'll do for now. Let's open this up. This is a savage country. I think this is a clothing box, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll it up. I can check this. Duffel bag. <laughs> Rocket launcher parts and a bandage, too, which is always nice. I think that's everything in this area. Um... I believe that's everything. Ooh, food pile. We should definitely check that. Yeah, we'll take those. And I'm hungry. Good time, Rick, for all of this. Get that. Alright, I think that that's everything. I'm gonna head on back to the trader now and turn this in. We should get a reward. My gosh, there's so much in this. More steel spear parts. Alright. I hear a zombie. Hello. Hear another zombie. Where are these guys all coming from? Hello? You in the tree? Oh, there you are. There we go. in the... Well, that was a weird sound. Um, anyways, we're going to head on back now. Well, it looks like I do have... Looks like I'm un encumbered just a tiny bit. Get rid of that. Can throw this in here. Eat that egg. Uh, I'm going to toss that out because we don't need it right this second. Don't need lead either. We'll keep everything else for now. Um, but quickly, I'm going to go to my skills because we've got a second skill point. So I decided I was going to save these two up because I had one from last episode saved. And I'm going to invest it into... I want to keep going down the Spirit Master path. But I need Perception Level 7 to upgrade that again. And I'm only at 6. And this costs 2 skill points. So I'm just saving up more for that. So I need another 2 skill points to upgrade that. And then I should be able to get the next level of Spirit Master. Um, which is good. I'm doing a lot of damage with these spears, even uh, even though it's a tier three stone spear, which is one of the weakest ones in the game. I'm also finding a lot of parts as well, so I should be able to upgrade this spear. Get a better one eventually. Yeah, at the moment I'm. Just about three shotting zombies. If I get some uh, good power attacks to the head. Alright, I think I'm gonna. Yeah. This is the shotgun right here. I'm gonna reload it. It uh, takes a very long time to reload, and it's. 
I think it's pretty good. I mean, it is a shotgun, so it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> um, however, it is the very lowest tier of any kind of shotgun. The worst of the worst, so I'm not really going to rely on that. I think I'd rather rely on my spear than on that up close. Um, but I might just test it out just to show you guys what it looks like. But first, I need to go back to the trader, turn this in, and then also turn in all the loot that I got. Uh, put it back into my base. Should not take very long. Looks like I'm thirsty as well, so drink some water. Hundred more meters. We're almost there. Another like minute or so, I bet. Now I think that there may actually be a zombie inside of the trader <laughs> base right now, left over from last episode as well. Because um, when I spawned in, not everything was rendered in yet, and I didn't see any of this trader base. I only saw. I think it was a lone zombie just running around this area somewhere, so I'm going to need to look out for that, because <laughs> I have no idea where that guy is right now. Didn't we agree? You're, for You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? Approves salvage tool crafting skill. Uh, I don't need that. Approves club. I'm not going with that either. I don't really need that. I'm not really going down shotguns, so I think I'm going to take the cobblestone because that's going to be great for upgrading my base. Um, let's get another job. This one's the closest. I'm going to make you an off. Get moving, jackass. This don't pay by the hour. <laughs> oh, that guy. Really do not like that trader. One day I'm going to introduce you guys to Trader Bob, and uh, he is the nicest person ever. He's the complete opposite of that guy. Alright, so we should be able to upgrade a lot more of this base with this cobblestone, which will be good because um, the horde is coming soon. And we're going to need to be ready for that. Those away. Two bandages that I can just use. Okay, so that. Alright. Well, I usually like to keep these three because they're pretty useful crafting items. And that leaves all of this in terms of. Okay, perfect. There we go. All right, so I think I'm going to do a couple more uh, missions, probably up until night starts, and then I might do a bit of upgrading of my base, and then I'm going to end this episode, because uh, I don't want to do too, too long of episodes, um, unless you guys would prefer that. But either way is fine. Yeah, also, if I do shorter episodes, then I'll be able to make more consistent uploads, too. Uh, because I'd be able to record a couple episodes in one session. Like, if I played for two hours and recorded, I don't know, three, like, 45-ish minute episodes or so, then that is three days' worth of episodes done in one session right there. Compared to if I just recorded the whole two-hour session, then I might not get on the next day or the day after that, and so that would only be one episode airing uh, for one day, and then you guys would have to wait a couple days before the next episode came out, um, which would be no fun. I don't want to keep you guys waiting if I can help it, so 
shorter episodes seem like the way to go, at least at the moment. And I really cannot wait until I get this bicycle unlocked because running to all of these objectives is such a hassle. It takes such a long time. Although I think that I'm almost done. I've done a lot of these tier 1 missions. And I should be near the end of it. Maybe by the end of this episode, by the end of uh, this day in game. We should be able to have it. I'm pretty sure that there is a way to check this. And I think that I need to be in the trader's uh, inventory. Like where I need where I select a new mission. I think I need to be in that area to check it. So I might look into that when I get back from this mission just to see how close I am. Alright, let's see, what house is this? Ah, it's the, uh, it's the water. It's the water dock house. Oh, is it? Wait. No, it is. Alright, yeah. There's a couple of them, actually. Alright, let's start this thing. Can I not loot that? I guess not. Get some water. Don't want rotting flesh right now. Whoops. Alright, let's get back up there. Some gas. Alright, nice. Could be saving up gas for uh, when we eventually do have a vehicle because it does take a lot of gas. Food pile. This will be nice. One of those. That's food. Perfect. You will definitely take that. Hello. Oh, there's one next to you. Ooh, I got a loot bag. I can test this out. Yeah. That's pretty much a one shot. Let's see what's inside of here. Two of these. And some. Ooh, and some cobblestone, too. That's really nice. Got some more of my base upgraded with that. Be searching all these barrels because I really do need this gas in it. Hello there. Alright, so this is a little trick. If you close the door and let the zombies hit it, it will eventually start to break, and one, uh, the inside of it, just like that, will break, and you should be able to shoot through it. Just like that. One's all be done. One more in there. I'm gonna open this up for that. Goodbye. Eh, it looks like that was it. I think the end loot should be in here somewhere. Um Weapons back there. Could be a weapon in here. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Proves the crafting skills, so we're going to use that. Search these. Some nails, not very good. Oh, hello. Looks like this stuff is up here. Oh, biker boots. All right, so looks like we've got our f some more armor. Let's see, how do you? Come on. There we go. Looks like I can loot that too. All right, let's get through here. Gas, nice. 
think that's it here. Oh, look at that. Almost messed up. Some murky water. Perfect. <laughs> and that led right out here, so that is everything. Uh, before that, though, I do want to equip those boots. Because right now I have some primitive shoes, which are uh, not very good compared to uh, those boots. A lot less armor, armor rating. Um, so we're going to scrap those. And then we also have insulated... Uh, we don't really need that, though, because we're not in a cold climate. So I'm going to leave that for now. Need, don't need to equip that at the moment. Alright, that looks like everything, so let's head back now. Was there anything over here, was there? I don't think so. Alright. If I hurry, I should be able to get, like, another three done. Maybe two, actually, because I believe that uh, any other missions I do today are going to be over a kilometer away, so it's going to take a little bit to get there and to get back. Uh, so I'd say probably two more missions today. Did I hear a zombie? Yeah, I'm just going to leave it for now. Do need to get back. Yeah, getting that bike is going to make this process so much faster. And uh, can't wait to show you guys because it's going to make this wait much shorter. So you guys can see more of the action and less of this. <laughs> And I am stopping by all of these uh, bird nests because, uh, one, I want to collect all the feathers from it because uh, those are good for making arrows uh, for a bow and arrow or a crossbow. And uh, I like to use those during horde nights, at least in the beginning before I get a sniper rifle, because uh, it's a pretty easy uh, ranged weapon to use. And it's not very difficult to make ammunition for it because I believe you just need the feathers and um, some rocks. Looks like I'm thirsty again. And that wire goes right here. It's a lot deeper than I thought it was. Oh my gosh. Alright, just about back now. Let's head over. Well, look here, boys. We got ourselves a real-life hero. And now, he wants to be paid. Base mod. This is modification. Melee weapons, tools, and bows. Lowers. For melee weapons, it was... Lowers... De okay. Degration by 25%. I'm never going to be crafting these, though, because a lot of the time I'll be finding them pretty often once I start leveling up a lot more. So I'm not going to take that. Uh, honey, I can just find by hitting stumps. And so I don't need shotgun chills. So I think I'm either going to go with the cornbread, which is really good for food right now, or the crafting school magazine bundle. Um... And at the moment, I'm doing okay for food. I'm getting enough to sustain myself on these missions. So I'm going to go with the Craft and School Magazine bundle. Let's see about the jobs. It um, doesn't look like I can check it, per se. But let's 
Let's make a pact. Can't say I'm not Let's surprised. Let's do that. Oop, not that. Good luck, kid. And then... We'll go to here. Can I see it here, maybe? No. I don't think it's on the map. Looks like I have some more of these that I can redeem. Do I check this? Who would have thought it would be through you? Take a look, buy some shit, get the hell there's a fucking door. Why don't you use it? Looks like I can't look at them on while I'm on a job. Alright. Let's see, there's definitely a way to check that, so I'm gonna look that up after this gameplay. Yeah, so I can finally figure that out. Uh, assuming that I don't level up. Uh, after completing the missions today. Let's see, I'm just gonna throw those in there. I don't really need to keep those on me right now. that back for now. I'm not even going to keep a pistol. It's not even useful to me right now. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to read these. Alright. I think that's everything at the moment. I also have one water left, which should keep going until the end. Alright, let's go and get this mission done. Yeah, 1.1 kilometers away. That is a bit of a hike. And it's almost midday already, so I definitely need to get a move on. So, with this series, I'm hoping to make it a bit of a long-term series that I'll upload as much as I can of it, um, because me and my friends will probably be playing this for at least a couple months, a month or two at least, I'd say. So there will be a decent amount of uh, these episodes uploaded. Uh, however, I'm also going to try and do a mini-series for uh, smaller games that I just play on my own. Uh, the first one being uh, Firewatch. I'm going to try and get that game recorded uh, and played hopefully soon and then uploaded soon after. Um, I'm going to do that at some point. Wow, that was a big freeze. All this stuff is unlooted too, so I might run into here. There's definitely gonna be right here? No. There's definitely a zombie in here though. Oop! Oh, come here, buddy. And that guy's also there. Hey buddy. Oh my gosh, he just Jesus. <laughs> he like Lurched forwards. What the heck? It's like I need some food. Alright, I've already read that though, so I'm not gonna read it. There's some food in here. Yep, go ahead and eat that. Glad I stopped by here. Looks like there's something in there. Oops. Nice, and two repair kits. Okay, that's really good. Uh, 
task. I'm going to lower my thirst if I eat that, so I'm not going to. Take some red tea, though. That's going to be very good. All right, let's keep on going now. A little detour. That POI right there is a little military base, and uh, I will not be doing that anytime soon. <laughs> That's definitely a uh, a future mission that I'll be doing. Um, but I'm severely under leveled for that at the moment, because uh, there are military zombies that are in there. I think there are also hounds zombie dogs or zombie hounds that chase after you as well then when you get all the way to the top of there you go inside and then if i remember correctly i think about like eight or ten zombies that are in the ceiling just break through and fall on top of you and it's not a fun time um so i'm going to wait to do that <laughs> let's see is it faster to run around or i think i'm just gonna swim through this lake. It should, it should be fine. Unless they've added, I don't know, zombie fish into the game that will attack me. That'd be kind of crazy, though. But, uh, swimming's pretty easy. Oh, hello. Oh my god, what is... what is she doing? <laughs> She's going on an oh. Oh, she drowned. <laughs> that adventure did not last long for her, I guess. Alright, let's get out of there. Have to swim one more time. Oh uh, yeah, that's the real, uh, it's the larger dock base over there. I think I've actually done a horde night on top of that POI as well. Um, which has been kind of crazy because the zombies took some very strange routes to get up to, uh, the top of, uh, of the roof where me and my friend were camping. And, uh, they ended up climbing on top of each other and like breaking through walls and taking weird routes to get to us, but uh it's kinda funny actually. It's kinda crazy. But let's get through here. My gosh, you go so slowly when you don't have stamina in this. Come on, almost there. Yep. There we go. Alright, looks like we're going to that spot right there. That uh, looks like a hazmat. No, it's not. Alright. Let's do this. Game froze? Alright. Whenever my game freezes a bit, it means that there's a zombie waking up coming to attack me. Search. Okay. Take some iron. I think I can get some water from here. Or pipes. That also works. I'm just gonna close this for now. I don't want any zombies coming in behind me. I think that was a zombie on the outside. Take this shotgun out for a second, because there's probably a zombie right in here somewhere. Oh, there's one inside here. It wasn't a one shot, but definitely did a lot of damage. Should be able to get it with this one. Hello, are you serious? There we go. It's going to take a while to break through. I'm not really concerned about that at the moment. New bookcases. 
Let's go, schematics. Charge trick. There's 20% chance for regular and 50% chance for power attacks to instantly charge stun batons. That's a, uh, that's a very good book to know if I was going down the, uh, uh, stun baton path, but I'm not. So, I'm still gonna read it, but, oh, hello. There are, I think there's a zombie up here. I'll take this out just in case. No, just a... Oh, I go across. I can actually loot that, looks like I have to jump. Uh oh. Oh no. Broke my leg. Or strained it at least. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I fell from really high up. That's really agitating, though. So I can't see because of the trees. Didn't know where I was going. Alright, let's try not to do that again. This is gonna make this go up. I don't really have much of a choice. I even have to jump all the way across, I think. There we go. Alright, it's gone back up to 10 minutes because I was jumping and such, but hopefully it doesn't go any higher now. Why does it get lurched forwards when it gets hit? It's so freaking. Some painkillers. Will this help with my. I don't know, I'll check this after. That might actually help me though. Uh, there's definitely some uh, zombies in here. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Just there you go. You should be able to get rid of this zombie down here now. It's so loud. One more hit should do it, hopefully. There we go. Ooh, some coffee will be nice. Ah, beautiful, a cooking pot. Alright. Now I will be able to boil water, um, the murky water, on my campfire. And I should be able to get uh, regular water out of it now, which is going to be amazing. There's more zombies in here somewhere, though. Probably a decent amount of them, too. Gotta be ready. They're probably down here. Yeah, they're gonna spawn in. I'm just gonna go right back up. Where are they? Oh, wait. Ah, oh, I don't want to... <laughs> Alright, before I do this, I'm gonna drink my water. Let's get mentally prepared for this. Uh, Let's see. Will painkillers help with this? I don't want to waste painkillers. I don't know. Oh, come on. I know there's something in there. Yep. <laughs> that scared me. Still asleep, though. Oh, that spawned them all in. I think they can climb ladders. Maybe. I don't actually know. Oh, yep. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. 
It's not goodbye yet, actually. Did they fall down? <laughs> he fell down the ladder. And he's going back up now. Come here. There we go. Looks like that's all the zombies. Well, except for the one outside. Oh god, that just put up the time. Hopefully not. Alright. Lead. Let's find more lead and loot. Okay. Ah, pipe machine gun. Nice. Alright, this is a very powerful weapon, but it eats through ammo so quickly. Um. I think I'm gonna save that. The, uh. Go with the pipe machine gun because it's not very good. Ooh, level two stone axe. Nice. You can upgrade. Let's see. You can boil that and uh, just take that. All right, let's get out of here. Where's... Oh, that guy's just all the way over there. I'm just not even going to bother with him. Alright, unfortunately there is another, like, four-ish minutes, I think, of my foot being sprained. And I cannot run during it. However, this works out because uh, I'm going to need to go through this lake, which is a slow process anyways. So, this should work out fine. So yeah, I may have time for one more. I should have time for one more before, uh, before we're done with quests for the day. Yep, almost done. Four minutes and 53 seconds left. So, I can't sprint, I don't think, because if I try to sprint... Oh, I guess sprinting through water is fine. It's not affecting the timer at all. So I'll do that. However, it is kind of burning through my stamina. So I do need to watch out for that. Oh, yep. <laughs> Just made me drop. Sick. Perfect. All right. In the agility uh, skill tab, there's a very good uh, skill tree that you can invest into, or ability that you can invest into, uh, so that you never uh, sprain your leg again. Uh, like, you may take damage when you hit the ground or even die, but, uh, no matter the distance, you'll never get a sprained leg like this. So having that upgrade is very nice later in the game because there are some huge POIs and sometimes you do fall, uh, which does suck, but can't help it sometimes. Um, and not having to walk around for 10 IRL minutes like this is very nice. Because <laughs> uh, instead you can just fix it by throwing on a med pack or just using one and then being able to get right back into it. Alright, so I'll probably have around like two minutes of just walking before uh before I'm fully healed, so it'll just be a little bit now. There we go.
can just search some bags, because sometimes you'll get lucky and find some good items. That's how I got that, uh, that pistol that, uh, I think I stored it at my base, but I looked in just a, I think it was just an old backpack or a pile of trash on the ground, and I found actually two of those pistols, and I was playing with my friend at the time, and I gave him one, and I kept the other. Just, they were just bad level one pistols, but finding two of them in the, uh, in the same bag was pretty cool, though. Especially early on, it's a nice weapon. Getting arrowheads is always nice too. Uh, I'll be able to make some better arrows with those, which will be good with uh, the bow. Which I will probably be using during Horde Night because early on it's kind of difficult to have a lot of uh, ammo uh, that you can use with your weapons. Uh, later on though, there are certain missions called Infested missions where uh, essentially, like if I had a tier 5 mission that I was doing, or if I had a tier 5 POI that I went to, but it was an infested mission, then it would double the amount of zombies that would normally be in that tier 5 POI. And it can get pretty hectic before. Uh, and at the end of that mission, there is a zombie cache, I believe is what it's called. Um, and normally in there, there's a crap ton of ammo of every kind. Um, and so doing a bunch of those missions and getting that ammo really helps. All right, we are back to business. So yeah, we should be able to do another mission really quickly. Um, it is a kilometer away, but hopefully instead of swimming, we can just run because that is a bit faster than having to swim across that lake. And I would already be on this next mission if I hadn't sprained my leg, so or my foot, whatever it was. I'm going to try not to do that again. And I'm hungry. I'm going to eat this. Should be almost back up to max health now, too. I think I might get right up to max, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Great, here you go. Let's see. Don't I spend it all in one place. Got batter. I'm not going to be making ammunition right now. Uh, don't need any more of those. Don't need that. I'm not going to worry about that. It's either pipe bombs or glue. Um, I'm thinking pipe bombs because I already have gotten a decent amount of those repair kits. And the pipe bombs are going to be very helpful for, uh... Oh, I got just a job. You better not fuck this up, or I'll cut your goddamn throat. Oh, my God. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, the mission... Or, uh, the pipe bombs will be very nice for the Horde Night coming up, which will be on the night of day 14, so we are almost there. Um, Alright, 
Let's throw some of this away here. How many of these repair kits do I have? One, one. Okay. Uh, I'm just kind of throwing stuff, seeing if it'll fit or not. Alright, most of it. I'm just going to throw into here. to here, but should give it a bit of a new look. Yep. So now I can cook water. It's some murky water, so I'm going to do that right now. Need to add in some more wood. That should last it. Oh my gosh, that does take quite a long time, doesn't it? Alright, so I'm going to let that run in the background. Let's see how much... How much thing I'll need? 12 minutes, I guess. Or is that... I think that's 3 minutes for each. Or no, it was, uh, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. Um, I'm just going to leave it for now. I don't have much time left, so I'm just going to go. Unfortunately, I think I do need to cross that lake again. Um, I do look at my map then. So there's more to the left of it. Maybe there's a path around the lake that will be convenient. Or a bridge, maybe. find any of these stumps, I'm going to hit them because I do want the honey in them. But actually, I don't... <laughs> I don't really have time for that either right now. I need to get this done before the sun sets, because getting back will be a bit of a hassle with uh, all the zombies sprinting at me. It's almost 18, which means I have four in-game hours. Which is not going to last very long. And Trader Wrecked closes at 21.55, so I need to get back before then to finish the, meet, uh, the mission. So I think I'm going to speed run through this and not do as much looting. Um, it is a retrieve the supplies, so I don't even need to kill all the zombies, but I do want that end loot for sure. So I will get all the zombies, but I'm going to be quick about it, and uh, this time I'm not going to be searching everything in there. At least I'm going to try not to. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish I had kept that coffee because drinking coffee will give you a buff where you're able to sprint for longer, I believe. Which would have been very useful for this. Alright, so I have to get across there. I see a bridge over there. But is it faster to just go straight across or is it faster to use the bridge? What do we think? Oh man, it's right there too. That's so annoying. I think I'm gonna run. I feel like it's gonna take longer to swim than it is to run. Uh, 
All right, less than 200 meters away, almost there. Okay, I'm going to repair that just beforehand. Make sure that this is all loaded, so I'm gonna try and speed run through this really quick. So the longest part of this is going to be running back, not actually getting through this building. Alright, here we go. And I'm thirsty, and I don't have anything to drink. Which sucks, but you have to deal with it. So it's on the ground somewhere right there. Aha. Alright, that was very quick. Um, however, I do want to find that end loot if possible. I'm just going to run through this building and try and get that done. Hello. And it looks like that I can't complete any more quests anyways for today, which kind of works out. Alright, was this the end loot? No, it was not. Where else do I have to go? Alright, this, I think, stamina regen plus 40%. I will be drinking that to help me get back quicker. Um... I go from here though to get to the because we are uh yeah we go up here all right I think we have to get into the roof somehow uh yeah there's gonna be a couple here hello can I not move what the heck I do need to be careful because you can get infected, which is uh, not fun. Take that. Okay, tier three. Uh, some more food, and then armor pocket mods. Yes, we're going to take that as well. I'll worry about putting that on later, though, once we are on our way back, or once we are back. I mean. Um. Let's see, search that, uh, nothing good. All right, let's get back now. So uh, that mod is very nice because it it's only one, so it'll give me one more slot available for carrying stuff. And there is technically uh, upgrades to the skills. I think it's called Pack Mule, surprise, surprise, uh, which upgrading that will allow me to carry more stuff as well. But, um, there are tier 3 upgrades of those packs that I can add on to my armor slots. Which means I, for each one of those, I can get 3 more carry slots. So, I'd be able to, just by adding those armor, or not armor upgrades, but like, just upgrades to my armor. I'd be able to carry... A lot more without needing to waste skill points so I'm not going to be investing into that at least not right now until I can equip uh, all of those first yes I'm gonna drink this beer now Just increase my stamina regen a lot and oh boy I'm drunk I should be able to run a lot faster now or a lot longer I mean 
And yeah, at this pace I should definitely make it back before uh before twenty one fifty five. So I should be able to get my reward and make it back to my base. Yep, I'm just gonna stop for this and hit this now. So yeah, there is a rare chance that you'll get a jar of honey from hitting those and breaking those uh, stumps. And honey is good because uh, if you get hit by a zombie, sometimes you will get infected. And if you let that infection get to a certain point, then it will kill you. Um, and as the infection gets higher and higher, I believe your max health and your max stamina will also decrease with it too. Um, and so, uh, eating honey will reverse those effects of the infection. So, having some honey on you and also looking for some honey is good. Um, I'm keeping the honey at my base for now just because I want to save it up. And since I am using a spear build and a, just a overall ranged build, I don't get hit too, too often. And so I'm not too, too worried about getting infected at the moment. Should be good. Stump right there. Go hit that. And hopefully, I should have some fresh water ready for me back at my base after I uh, talk to the trader. Yep, and this upgraded axe does more damage than before, it does 25 per hit. Which I don't know exactly how much damage my other axe was doing, but this upgraded one definitely does more damage. Alright, we are almost back now, finally. Ugh. all this stuff be stocked or something. I'm surprised that was looted. Oh. Maybe all this stuff was restocked. Hold up. Okay, I'm afraid to... <laughs> there we go. Afraid to hurt my legs. Let's well, get back. Um. Potatoes, M62, glue, malt of cocktail ammo. Those are very, very good. Um, I'm going to take that for the Horde. Ah, oh, finally. Okay, we finished tier one. We are getting this bicycle. There is no other option. Um, looks like there are special drops too. Yep, opening trade routes. So now... It's 1.1 kilometers away, but there's another trader that I can go to. Um, but I'm not going to select that just yet. Uh, let's see you again? what you have what? in you your inventory. You got a or something? Um, let's see here. Uh, 
see if he has an upgraded spear that I can use. Jammer. Right here. Doesn't look like it. He does have a hunting rifle, though. Which is definitely better than my pipe rifle. This does 58.2. This does... 14.2 less than that. Um, however, it's not necessary to buy it right now. The new Horde Knight is coming up, so I'm going to save my uh, money to maybe buy some ammo no broke with for that. Customers like you. And so I'm going to head back in a second, actually. I want to loot some of these things first. So I think that everything was restocked. Is it? No, that's empty. No, I guess. Huh. I guess some of the stuff just was looted. It's fine. Oh, I'm hungry as well. Alright, let's eat that. Alright. Let's go back now. It is almost nighttime. Perfect. Drink that now. And then let's put some of this stuff away. Starting to save up on a good amount of resources now, which is good. Working water, let's get that going. I think that it takes 3 minutes and 20 seconds for everything, and just 50 seconds for one. So I only need exactly that much. There we go. Alright, so I can make that, and I can also make golden rod tea, which is from water and golden rod flour. The benefits of this greatly speeds up recovering from dysentery. Well, that's not really useful because if I have normal water, then I'm not going to have dysentery in the first place. So it's not really useful right now. I'm going to add this upgrade to I think to my chest plate. Yep, I have one slot available. So this armor pocket mod, I equip that, and then boop, one extra slot right there. And then uh, the max, this is only one, but there's ones that have three pockets available. And so if I equip to that to this, that's three, and I can do that for every piece of armor. So that's three, 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 and then uh, I think I just need to get some upgrades for those. It's pretty good. Um, but now in the meantime, I'm going to take all of the cobblestone rocks that I have. Can I make one more cobblestone just to make it even? Oops. I need some clay. Do I have any clay? Any at all? Yes, I do. Let's do that. Bingo. Now we have 300. So first I'm going to quickly show the bike off for a second before uh, the night fully starts. Also it looks quite different. It's just a bicycle before, but it looks like they fully decked it out. So first thing we're going to do, alright good, it's locked right now. There's storage in it. You can put modified uh, modifiers on it. There's some storage on it here, so you can store stuff in your bike for missions if you're and then ride it. Then you can ride it right here. So this is my walking speed right now. So I'm not using any stamina going at that speed. And then if I'm sprinting, I'm going at that speed. 
So getting from one uh, area to another is going to be so much faster now. And I can also take it and move around with it. So if I need to cross a body of water, I can do that. I need to move it up a mountain, I can do that. For now, I'm going to just place it there. Actually, I'm going to move it inside. Just in case. I don't think anything would actually happen to it, but, yeah, might as well. Alright, now let's continue upgrading this around in the circle. Then after I'm done upgrading this, I think I'm going to end the episode. I don't want to make this too, too long. I do need to head to bed now, IRL, so <laughs> let finish this up. And I think that my plan is to start putting some spikes around my base, too. Because you could make wooden spikes that can be upgraded, I think, to metal. Um, but the spikes are very good because zombies will run into them before actually getting to my base and trying to hit my base to get in. So I'm going to upgrade that. There's the lower as well. Because if they're here, I don't think they're going to be hitting up there. I think they're going to be hitting here, and then also crawling on the ground and hitting down there. So I'm trying to get these spots first on the bottom, and then going up from there. Alright, perfect. That's all of the cobblestone used. And just like that, I've already almost leveled up again. See if I can make a little bit actually to see if I can fully level up because I do have one skill point available and I'd be able to get the next level of that. Let's see how many cobblestone rocks I can make. Oh, I'm out of stone. That's my problem. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to do this right now unless I get more stone, and I don't feel like doing that right this second. So I think that I'm going to end this episode here. Um, got some more water. Perfect, we're stocking up on water now. We have seven, so that's amazing. Got some food still. We'll do some more missions tomorrow and visit a new trader. Um, but yeah, made really good progress. We uh, got some new weapons, got some upgraded items. Um, got a bicycle, it's the huge one. And upgraded our base just a bit more. So, yeah. All right. I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. And there should be a new episode of this out soon enough. Um, I will be recording it as soon as I can. So, have a great rest of your day. Uh, I'll see you guys later in the next episode. Bye-bye.